quick tour of Dinosaur Ridge, a lovely outdoor paleontology and geology museum. Dinosaur Ridge is 15 miles west of Denver on a road over the Dakota Hogback. You can access it from the visitor center on the east side and take their $10 guided bus tour, but walking in is free. The road is open only to pedestrians, bicycles, and tour buses. I prefer entering on the west side, near entrance number one to Red Rocks Park. You park, take note to avoid the fairly common rattlesnakes sunning themselves on the road, and then walk up to stop number one, the original 1877 bone quarry site. This site is about 150 million years old, and the world's first stegosaurus bones were found here. A stream deposited a jumble of bones, which fossilized in the sandstone. Fossil bones are darker and smoother than the sandstone matrix, and you can touch them all you want. There is a jumble of bones here, so there's plenty to touch. Walking up the road, look around. Across the valley are the sandstones that make up Red Rock's amphitheater formation, and behind them are 1.7 billion year old metamorphic rocks that were once ocean floor. These sediments tilted up when the Rockies arose in the Laramide orogeny about 65 million years ago. As we walk up the hill, the sedimentary rocks get younger as the top sedimentary layers are younger than the bottom layers. Here we find sandstone layers eroding from below, and the layers have these odd bumps or bulges in them. Paleontologists believe these bulges are remains of dinosaur footprints. It works like this. Mr. and Ms. Dinosaur steps in soft mud or sand and leaves a footprint, which hardens. Later, more mud and sand fill it in. The layers are tilted up and erode from below, leaving a distinctive bulge. This large bulge is probably from a brontosaurus or similar long-necked dinosaur. You can see that the critter's weight smashed the layer below and the layer became thinner under the footprint. Walking to the top of the ridge, we find some volcanic ash layers that can be precisely dated to about 104 million years ago. Now that odd looking thing up there is not a fossil dinosaur egg, but rather a concretion that is a bolus of harder rock that has formed around a nucleus like a piece of a little piece of wood. From here you can climb to the top of the ridge for a better view and follow the ridge trail you can also see the freeway and the exploding growth of Denver's suburbs. The rocks here on the east side are younger, about 100 million years old, and there are no fossil bones here, but there are many trace fossils called ichnofossils. Walking down the east side, we began to see traces of ancient wave patterns when this was a shoreline and Denver was under a shallow ocean. We come to the track site, Actually, the main reason the ridge is famous, with over 350 dinosaur tracks from about 100 million years ago. They are painted in with charcoal to make them easier to see. Of course, uh, 100 million years ago, this area was a flat shoreline and not tilted up like today. Most of the tracks are broad and from an iguanodon-like dinosaur, full models down in the visitor center, the large tracks are adults, the small ones are juveniles, possibly on a migration path along the interior seaway. There are no tail marks because dinosaurs did not drag their tails on the ground. The smaller three-toed marks are from an ostrich-like dinosaur, an ornithomimid. Now look here, you see these rocks? You see anything interesting? Well, no one did until paleontologist Martin Lockley Realize these scratches look just like the theropod courtship scratches they found in western Colorado. Dinosaurs probably did a courtship dance like modern ground-dwelling birds. We believe these scratches are the remains of a hundred million year old dinosaur courtship dance. There are crocodile swim marks in the sand also. This uh, dip in the layers is uh, called Crocodile Creek. It's where the 15 meter long crocodiles lived and they left scratch marks from their long claws. Uh, 
which are uh, pretty hard to see until someone points them out to you. These were really big crocodiles. To return to your car, retrace your steps and take a second look at everything. You can drive around to the other side and stop by the visitor center. They have a life-size stegosaurus and iguanodon. They have more bones to touch. There's a cute little museum with more exhibits and props like dinosaur claws for the kids to play with. The gift shop has an excellent assortment of rocks and fossils at reasonable prices. We've covered only the basics. You might want to get the guidebook by Lockley and Marshall. They cover many more sites and features in much greater detail. Well, Dinosaur Ridge is a unique place, an outdoor museum where you can see and touch fossils from 100 to 150 million years ago. It's a great place to take the kids or the grandkids.